Hi, I'm Amita and I'm one of the GPs working here at Lloyd's Pharmacy Online Doctor. I'm here to give you a little bit of information on Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, or CBT, which is one of the most common treatment options for people experiencing a range of mental health conditions. As a GP, I'm seeing lots more people coming to me for help and advice on mental health conditions like anxiety or depression. Some of these patients might be prescribed medicines, but for lots of them, the first port of call will be a talking therapy like CBT. It's usually a short-term treatment, and you might be given a series of sessions with a therapist or a self-guided course online. So what exactly is CBT? Well, the cognitive part relates to what you think and the behavioural part is what you do. So put simply, CBT is a type of talking therapy that aims to equip you with coping mechanisms and help you manage the way you think, feel and act. Unlike other types of talking therapy, CBT focuses on the present rather than delving into your past. It's all about practical solutions to tackling worries in your day-to-day -day life and hopefully getting you to look at the world and your life in a more positive light. During a CBT session, you'll be encouraged to break down your negative worries into a smaller, more manageable parts. Problems are generally broken down into five main areas. Situations, thoughts, emotions, physical feelings and actions. All of these areas interlink. For example, a stressful situation might affect the way you feel mentally and physically and in turn impact the way you act. So by tackling each area, you can hopefully break the negative spiral, thought and behaviour patterns. You might be given exercises to do outside of the session like writing a diary or filling out worksheets. These will help you get the most out of the course. You might be wondering who CBT is suitable for. Well, it can be used to treat a variety of mental health conditions like anxiety and depression, as I mentioned, but also things like bipolar disorder, eating problems, OCD, phobias, self-harm, stress, and even problems with sleep. In England, you can refer yourself for talking therapies online. And once you've been through an assessment, you might be referred for CBT. But if you're experiencing negative thoughts or feelings or think you might have a mental health condition, it's a good idea to speak to your GP and they'll decide the best course of action for you. If they think CBT is what you need, they might be able to refer you to a therapist or they might encourage you to take part in self-guided online CBT. So there's lots of ways you can access CBT and hopefully feel the benefits. I hope you found this information helpful. Thanks for listening.